Hey guys, happy Monday. We're getting into lesson 28. It's going to be great. We're going to work on um, actually creating some of our own story problems. So it's going to be kind of a fun creative activity. Um, we're also going to have the opportunity to make sure we really understand how we go about dividing a whole number by a fraction. Also, um, I want to make sure that you guys are super comfortable with dividing a fraction by a whole number. We'll continue to support that learning with um, an understanding with tape diagrams. So that really helps us build our number sense and not um, kind of reinforce just blind calculations, which is absolutely not okay. Um, so here it goes. It's going to be great. Hey kiddos, I just wanted to do a few of these uh, here in lesson <clears throat> 28 because I know um, some of us are still a little unsure as to exactly what is going on here. But I just wanted to remind you that you actually do know what you're doing. I think it's just going to take a little bit of a refresh. So let's take, and that's kind of what Lesson 28 is all about. We're looking at um, drawing tape diagrams for these expressions, and then we're going beyond and we're creating word problems for these expressions, which is kind of a fun creative part. So what I'm going to do right now is draw a tape diagram, and then tomorrow when we come into class on Tuesday, we'll uh, worry about the word problem piece. So we have two divided by one third. So we are starting with... Two. That's what we're starting with. See? One, two. And then we're dividing each of our individual units into three equal parts. We're dividing each of our individual units into thirds. And then what do we end up with? We end up with one, two, three, four, five, six. Final answer. Okay. Now here for B, we are starting with a fraction. So obviously this is a whole number divided by a fraction. For B, we are starting with a fraction, an old very wobbly rectangle. We're starting with one third, one third, and we're dividing that into four equal slices. We want to know the final answer. So we're going to go ahead and divide our other thirds into four slices as well. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. And we want to know, looking at one slice, when we divide one third divided by, by four, let's go ahead and isolate our original third. So one third, that was right here. When we divide one third by four, what do we get? We get this narrow slice, which is one out of well, I had four here, I have four here, and I have four here. So that one slice, one third divided by four, is one twelfth. Cool. I hope this is making some, some more sense here for you guys. Let's just take a look. Hopefully I can scroll down here. No, I cannot. No, I still cannot. Let's take a look at C and D since we're having such a great time. Uh, enjoying one another's company. It's just the best. One fourth divided by three. So we have a fraction and we're dividing that fraction by a whole number. So we're going to start with one fourth. Here is our one fourth. And we're going to slice that into three slices. We want to know, hmm, what is this shaded, what is represented by that shaded region? Well, that is one twelfth again. So we have one fourth here. Let me grab another color, darker color. We have one fourth here. You can start thinking about this in a few different ways. We have one fourth here. We have one fourth here. We have one fourth here. You guys know that a four fourths is equal to one whole. That's just the fancy version of one. Fancy. Within each of my fourths, we sliced each of our fourths into three equal pieces. So what we ended up doing was slicing our whole into 12 equal pieces. We wanted to know one fourth divided by three. What happens with what fraction is occurring within each of those slices? Simply put, that's just one twelfth. So just make sure that you're really making sense of these expressions. The picture really supports that making sense. 
Um, now let's just look at one more here. We have 3 divided by 1 fifth. Okay, so here we're starting with 3 holes. 3 holes. 1, 2, 3. Good counting. We're going to slice each of those 3 holes into fifths. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, two, three, four, five. You're going to have to imagine that each of these three holes, each of these individual units are equal. They should be one, two, three, four, five. So we have three. We sliced each of our individual units, three individual units that live inside three. We sliced each of them into five equal slices. We have five here. We have five here. We have five here. And what we are trying to figure out is how many slices do we have in our three holes? Well, we have 5, 10, 15 slices. So 3 divided by 1 fifth is 15. Cool. So let's keep working on that. You're going to see Louie and Kylie uh, dive into a few more examples that's going to require us to do this division. So stay tuned. Problem is create and solve a division story problem about five meters of rope. That is modeled by the tape diagram below. Okay. So here in this tape diagram, we have a hole. It's a pen. Oh, okay. So we have five meters. That's our hole. And we need to divide five meters into four. So we're going to divide that five meters. meters. There's five, one, four. So when we're dividing five by one fourth, we're going to we're going to take five, multiply that by the denominator. The denominator. So five times four equals twenty. Okay, and then we have to put twenty over one fourth. So twenty times one fourth equals twenty fourth, and that is our answer. And then for our division story problem about five meters rope, so we're gonna say, um, Keishi has five meters of rope. He's five meters of rope. He wants to. He wants to divide, he wants to cut, he wants to cut his, his rope into fourths, period. How many, fourths will he have? Force will he have? I can't really write it because there's not enough space, but that's what I meant to write. Okay, passing it on to Kylie. So, we're doing number three from the lesson 28 homework, and it says draw a tape diagram and create a word problem for the following expressions, then solve and check. Okay, so I am going to be doing A. And it says two fourths divided by one fourth. So I'm going to start off with doing my tape diagram. And we have to divide it into two pieces because it says two divided by one fourth. Okay, so now that we have two parts, since this is one-fourth, we have to chop each 
side into fourths. So we know that when you cut stuff into fourths, you have to do three lines. Ready? Ready? Come on, pen. Ready? One. One. Two. Three. So now these are in fourths. So we know that since four fourths are in one whole, we're going to label this side as one. And since we chop this side in fourths, we have to chop. Since we chop the left side in fourths, we have to chop the right side in fourths. So ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. So now this side is in fourths. So we know that four fourths and one whole. So we have to label this side as one whole. So now we did a diagram. So now we have to do our number sentence. Our number sentence is two times four, which equals eight, which equals eight, and that is our final answer. Secret word is Caddy Wampus.